Kellaways. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Breakfast at the Kellaways. I'm Jane Kellaway and my friend today, special guest, is none other than Rue Arcus. Hi, mate. Hey, Jane. How are you? Buddy, I'm doing very well. You are looking sensational. I have to say, most of my artists have been looking sensational. I've been have having they? on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel it, mate. <laughs> no, I feel all right. Feel all right? How you been? Hanging in. Hanging in. Hanging You've had a bit of a tough couple of years, mate. Yeah, yeah, and you know this this year's been especially tough with, yeah. with all that's going on with with the drought and everything that yeah. we're dealing with at home. So. Yeah. So, do you want to tell our listeners a little bit about your life because they might not realise that you are on the farm and you're literally hanging by the skin of your teeth at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've certainly been affected by this widespread drought. We run a cattle operation. We uh, we're a breeding operation. Yeah. And we sell weaners. You know, we grow out our calves. To weaners and sell them at about six to eight months old yeah and that's our one paycheck a year is when we sell those weaners okay so we've been sort of down sizing down scaling things as the, you know the years have just been haven't been all that kind of us really for, no. for some time even though the drought's only just coming up in everybody's minds now and it's the forefront of all the, the media and everything yeah it's sort of don't want to say it was too late but uh, uh, it, it's nice that it's finally People have taken notice of what's mm. going on mm. in rural Australia, and and yeah, and we were the ones, one of the ones, that were affected by it. Yeah, we did everything to prepare for it that we could. Yeah, we were already in a tough time already, mm. so we had, like I say, progressively downsized our herd and our operation. Yeah, to try and match what was happening on, yeah. on the place, and we sold most of our weaners in April as we usually do mm -hmm. late March early April yeah. like so that that's our one paycheck a year yeah and even then we thought knowing that we were going into a tough period a, a tougher period mm -hmm. that we would mm -hmm. uh, potentially sell the herd back then which which is a, you know it's, it's a big decision to do that yeah, it's, it's, a, a big it's, it's the last is the like the, the final yeah. thing that you that you do yeah so we sold more cows in anticipation of this we built a new hay shed, we bought hay, yeah. we put our cattle out on, you know, adjacent or lease land, yeah. uh, we even ran them up on the road every now and then, yeah. trying to save our place. Yes. And all the while we were doing this, the kangaroos were flogging it out anyway. So, <laughs> uh, yes. was, you know, it just didn't matter what we did. So, so we did all that and then it just kicked our butts anyway. Mm. Um, we started feeding our cattle all the hay that we had and... Uh, in fact, the mice were trying to eat the hay. I've heard. <laughs> I, it's, yes. You know, no so matter which way got, you turned. You put hay in the shed. The m mice came with the hay and just <sighs> smashed out the oat and hay. Yeah. Uh, so we're trying to feed that out as quick as we could. But it uh, didn't matter how much we were feeding those cows that now had, that had just given birth to calves. Mm. And uh, we just couldn't keep up enough hay. I mean, even, yeah. even though we were feeding them enough hay, yes. the hay wasn't good enough quality and there just wasn't anything else to, to help oh, yeah. them out yeah. to uh, carry those calves so we mm. just went well you know what we can't uh, we, you know we can't we can't let these cattle slip any further yeah. so we ended up having to sell make that decision to sell mm. the herd mm. or the core herd mm. and everything was going to go but we decided that we'd keep back uh, some of the some young heifers yep. uh, a few first time calves that we had and a couple of old cows mm. that were basically almost pets and uh, one was too old to sell anyway yeah um, so we've now got maybe about uh, 30 head wow. and some sheep and some horses and stuff as well. Mm. But uh... Mate, you're lucky you've got your faith. <laughs> you're lucky you've got a beautiful <laughs> wife and kids that stand by you. Yeah. Where would you be without your music? I mean, I, that well, must be something that's been keeping you going too. It is. I mean, music's not a, a wonderful thing to be the fallback, to be honest, no. because, you, you know, both, both industries are... Are tough, and there's a lot of parallels between both industries, and you only do <laughs> You're both like a sucker for punishment because you love them. Both. Yeah, that's the only reason yeah. you play music, and that's the only reason you uh, Have, you're on the land. Yeah, yeah. You don't do it for the money. That is for, no, that no. is for sure. So, whilst I've got this to fall back on, that that's it is wonderful. Mm. I say it's not the greatest fallback, but it is something, and that's something that a lot yeah. of other people don't. It keeps have. your spirits up, right? I it does. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I've started taking, uh, you know, these two. Uh, groups with me when I'm performing in the US, yeah. you know, I have to really rely on the music mm. and, and pushing those tours mm. as best as I can because that's 
that's what I have to survive on. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing more about the tours in the next okay. break. Okay, yeah. But we've got a couple of albums here that I just want to quickly mention. Oh, behind my, your red, white and blue song. <laughs> that was amazing. I love it. So Cowboys and Sunsets was the second one and then of course yeah. this here cowboy and you've got another one in the throes as well haven't you yeah when i was in the states earlier in the year um i uh, cut a new album with tim crouch who's played played fiddle i met tim when we made this here cowboy yeah um uh, he uh, he was brought in to play on on that album and then yeah. i met him he lives up and uh in strawberry arkansas and uh, like so, a nice yeah. place yeah, beautiful place, and Tim's a great guy. And Tim then came in on a play on Cowboys and Sunsets that Jerry Sally produced. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then Tim produced the single Red, White and Blue, and I wanted to hear what he could do with an album. So oh, so that's what we've done. So done. Tim's produced my new album. Yep. We went in and cut an album on Music Row in a Sony right. studio. How exciting. Yeah, with some amazing uh, players. Good. Well, I'm going to talk about that in a minute too, but how about we do one of the songs? Which one are we going to do first for me? Uh, well, I might do, I might do "Ain't No Suit" off Ain't no uh, suit, yes. off Cowboys and Sunsets. Good song. Because that's kind of you know what we're saying here. You know, yeah. The, the, this this is what I do do. I mean, yeah. I do. Uh, you know, we are raising cattle and and yeah. uh, and and doing the country music. So that's kind of what this song is about. All right, take it away. All righty. Walked up to me, moving kind of slow. Said, Son, you sure look hard. Did you really ride those horses through the winter snow? Or is it just part of the show? And I said, This ain't no suit, I wear these boots. Every day of my life, and this old hat, it ain't no act. I wear it with pride. Oh, and when I sing of loving her, well, I meant every word. Just as sure as I drove those cattle to that mountain spur. Can you sing a fencing? Can you work an old crowbar? Can you tie a figure eight? Do you really truly love her all the way to those stars? Would you really go that far? And I said, This ain't no suit, I'll wear these boots. Every day of my life, this old hat, it ain't no act. I'll wear it with pride. Oh, and when I sing of loving her, well, I meant every word. Just as sure as I drove those cattle to that mountain spur. This ain't no suit, I'll wear these boots Every day of my life This old hat, it ain't no act I'll wear it with pride Oh, and when I sing for loving her Well, I meant every word And I surely drove those cattle To that mountain spur Buddy. <laughs> Come and get it. Oh, break is ready. We'll be right back with plenty more of Rue Arcus after the break. 
How would you like to win a guitar just like this one? Well, you can, and it's so easy. Pop onto the Breakfast at the Kellaway website and click on the competition link. Order yourself a Breakfast at the Kellaway's mug and have a photo with it, somewhere interesting and unusual, and send it in. It's that easy. You've got to be in it to win it. You're back with Jane Kellaway and my special guest, Rue Arcus. Rue, I'd love to talk a little bit about your tours that you do to the US. Yeah. And you host them, you put them all together yourself, and you sing and entertain at the same time. Yeah. Do you cook breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> no. I will come and eat breakfast with you, though. <laughs> That's In fact, lovely. you do everything with me. You hang out with me the whole time, pretty much. It must be really special. How long are you away for? About 10 weeks? We, uh, 10 weeks. 10 days, 2 weeks? Normally, it's about... It's usually about 14 days on the ground in the US, right. so okay. it turns out to be, you know, 17 or so Australian Fantastic, days. Fantastic, mate. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and that, that was just born from, me, you know, me traveling there for all yeah. these years. Yeah. And I went about three years ago and performed at a new event, which was called Western Legends Roundup, mm -hmm. or well, new event for me anyway. Mm. And in that area of southern Utah, yeah. and, and it's right on the border of southern Utah and northern Arizona, there's all these incredible national parks you know the grand mm. can north room oh, grand canyon yes yes um, monument valley uh, bryce zion national park yeah it's just just these incredible areas around there that just i've never seen anything like i've, I've traveled mm. a lot of australia mm. and a lot of places and uh this place is just incredible wow it's just the change of landscape within you know driving out that way and driving out that way driving out that way it's just Incredible. I went to all these places on my own mm. and I uh, thought, I've got to show this to people. So I came back and said to my wife, Sue, I said, look, I'm thinking about taking some, some tours over with yeah. me. I'll take people with me when I go to perform yeah. at these places and then show them around this. Great idea. And she's like, oh, you're mad, you know, another crazy scheme. <laughs> and, and uh, well, that was September when I came home yeah. and I had deposits down for the first trip by December. Come on, Really? So, when I go to wow. make something happen, I make that it happen. Is, you, you definitely do. Wow, yeah. well done. And uh, so, yeah, so it's just been continuing on. I yeah. just thought, well, that, that worked. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And so we took another tour group back to uh, Texas, and then we extended yeah. the tour. We went to Arkansas and Tennessee. Okay. Uh, we took another group just recently back to, you know, Nevada, Utah, and Arizona again. Mm, mm. And now I've got a new uh, sale happening now for a tour to back to Texas yeah. next April. Mate, excellent. And I'm putting together the rest of the tours for the next year as well. So Good on you. But I'm going to have to rely really heavily yeah. on the tours and the music. Yes. Because, I mean, the farm's sort of been propping up the music for, yeah. for a number of years. Yeah. And now I've got to repay the farm in a sense because oh. uh, there is no income. Mm. I mean, there's no income. Mm. The, the farm paid all that, you know, our... Mm. everyday stuff it paid mm. paid for itself it pays rates it pays the bills it pays pretty much everything yeah and uh you know that now it's not going to be there because well, we just stuck all them on a truck and sent them off yeah. just recently so well what can we do to help i mean we can help well, by buying yeah. cds yes yeah so what does what it matter which did, one we get what do we do not really i mean initially we were pushing this year cowboy because yeah. <laughs> i'll be honest folks that's what i had a lot of seeing in the shed we we sort of came up with the idea of all these boxes of CDs that were yeah. sitting in our in our part of our machinery shed, the enclosed part of our machinery shed. Yeah. And uh you know, but oh basically Sue and someone else come up with the idea of, well, you know, we've got all these CDs, let's turn, you know, this shed full yeah. of CDs into a shed full of hay. We had a lot of people offering, you know, what can we do to help? And we mm. we didn't want to take charity, just like every other farmer of that course. says they don't need the help, we actually need the help. Yeah. Um said, no, look, we'll we'll pull ourselves out of trouble because we did have this to fall back on. Yeah. And and we started a campaign, you know, turn yeah, music yeah. into hay, turn a shed full of CDs into a shed full of hay. And yeah. and I went online and I learned how to build a, an online store and a website. <laughs> Good on you. And, and I started the feed store. Well, excellent. So, okay, tell us, how do we do it? What do we... So, so there's two ways. Uh, you can go to... We actually started a new website. It's a link called... Uh, well, it's www.thefeedstore.com. Dot info. Okay. But if that's too hard to remember, just remember ruarcus.com mm. and you'll find it as well. So, mm. yeah, you'll go online, you'll find the feed store. Yeah. And uh, now we have all these available. Mm. But dead set. I mean, we, before I did that last trip to the States, yeah. we went in, we bought all the last available bit of hay that we could find in Golden and got a semi load and put it in our shed, threw it all on the credit card. Wow. 
and selling these at the moment yes. is paying off that credit card. Okay, so you guys can help Rube pay off his credit card <laughs> by buying it. But you're getting quality music, mate. You're not just getting some shindig stuff that you've well, done. So this is we, quality music, folks, honestly. I, we didn't want to go to people like, uh, you know, Drought Angels and Rural Aid and yes. Bar. Yeah. Well, not initially anyway. We may not be there yet, but uh, yes, yeah. but initially we just thought, no, we, we, we'll we try and get ourselves out of trouble first. And this, this was a way to do it. It's not a way to... Push CD sales. Yeah, you know this is this is absolutely genuine. It's this, life this, or death, mate. Yeah, this. I if, mean, if, if not, I can't sell these, I'm going to yeah. have to give up the music. Yeah, that's what that's and get a regular job. This. If I can't sell yeah. tours and if I can't sell CDs and I go out and yeah. perform, yeah, to cover us through the next three, four, five years, yeah. up to ten years maybe to get us back back in the game yeah. on the property. Yeah, um, you're not going to see me in this business much longer. Well, we need I'll to see gone. you, buddy. We need it because you've got a new album coming out. Yeah, and, and I well, like your album just on on hold at the moment. Well, yeah. yes. because of this, what we're yeah. dealing with right now. But you've gone over to America to do your album mm -hmm. to make again smart business decision. Book the tour around it and do your album yep. while you're over there. So, so all right, it's on hold. You, I don't know. <laughs> what can I ask? You have an idea when it might be available? Oh, uh, look, you know, realistically, I think mm. Tamworth might be a yeah. might be a goal. Okay. I know there's a thousand releases of albums at Tamworth, but, but time-wise, that's probably a, a realistic yeah. goal. Well, the first realistic goal I might be able to achieve to, uh, to put an album out. Uh, so that's that's what I'm aiming for. Okay. I haven't done a single thing towards it yet, and it's racing up on us. At least you've got but, all the uh, songs done, haven't you? Songs are done, done yeah. We haven't got yeah. the final master of it yet, but okay. it's... it's uh, pretty exciting it is exciting it, it is because it's absolutely a Ruarkas album but it's absolutely not what you're going to expect what you're going to expect oh I yeah. like the idea of that yeah. <laughs> now you've also um, sourced other songs on this one I know you write a lot of your, your own songs you've yeah. sourced a few of this one look to be honest in all the process of everything that's been happening lately and you know we sold where we lived and we moved yeah. up with dad to help look after him as well and and uh we went right through the, the farm succession plan and now we're up there. Mm. So a lot was going on, even though it's been three or four years since an album's come out. Yeah. Um, you'd think I'd had all the time in the world to write a song. And I've no. got a million song ideas and song yeah. ideas started. Yes. And songs that are nine-tenths written. Mm. But, you know, I just didn't have the time to, to write a whole lot of material for a new album. But I needed a new album. And that does not mean that uh, even though I've only written probably a couple of new songs for this new album, mm. it doesn't mean that I went, I can't just sing those. I mean, these songs which I've chosen, I mean, I've, <laughs> I've had access to a, a pretty incredible, uh, you know, uh, catalogue of songs yeah. from, from incredible songwriters. So Very good. Well, are we going to yeah. hear one of the new ones or what do you want to do? Oh, Up to you. I haven't thought about doing I it. I don't know. <laughs> you can do whatever you like if it's, well, um, you I choose. Could, uh, Wow. Well, I you've, now you've put me on the spot. Now I've put you on the spot. <laughs> or just rely on the on one e roller. I don't mind. Whatever you're comfortable with today. It's your okay. show, buddy. I mean, yeah, these songs are also new to me. The, these new songs. You might not remember the words. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I'm going to have a crack at it. Okay, go for it. See I'm how we go. i have a crack at it now. So. Yeah, this is not like going to be a first single or probably even a single off the album. Okay. But it is going to be something new for you. All right. Um... I think you G'd me up for this. <laughs> <laughs> this this is a song that was actually, um, it has been released before, but no one ever would have heard it here in this country, I'm sure. Okay. It was probably released back in the 70s or 80s, maybe, by a songwriter um, in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I just heard the song and thought, I don't know, there's just something about it. Mm. Real so I'm, I'm going to attempt it. I, Go for I it. could make a massive mess of this. Oh. Anyway. Stage is yours. I'll get out of here. I'll see. I'll see. It's a good story, this song. And I love the story songs. Good. Let's see. Okay, here we go. If I could be where memories take me, I'd be going home. On the morning train, I'll never see an old Calico station. Cause I'll never be free. This ball and chain. I was in love with a farmer's daughter, virgin lace from a 
mother's veil She was as pure as country water But she's gone forever down the Calico River Bernard Kane was a county rich man He owned twenty miles of White River bottom land but he had no use for the country poor boy who was trying to win his daughter's hand. But her love was young and there for the taking. Couldn't understand her daddy's foolish pride. So she met me there at the Calico station. Come with me and be my bride. I was in love with a farmer's daughter, virgin lace from a mother's veil. She was as pure as country water, but she's gone forever down the calico rail. Night was black, like a vengeance waiting to tell his tale in the bloody sand. When the smoke had cleared, I was still standing. Their daddy's gun, they're in my hand. Now, Mr. Kane, it's buried down by the river. I'll have to spend my life in jail But the farmer's daughter put it all behind her Took a midnight ride down the Calico Rail I was in love with the farmer's daughter Virgin lace from a mother's veil was as pure as country water But she's gone forever down the Calico Rail Breakfast at the Callaways is heading off to Norfolk Island next year in May for the Country Music Festival. Why not come with us? Click on the Callaway Country icon on the website for all the details. Welcome back to Breakfast at the Callaways. Rue, I've got a couple of things I need you to do in this particular mm -hmm. one. Do you want to pop your guitar down for starters? I'm going to get you to sign my guitar, okay. please. And then we're going to talk a bit more about your music. Um, this is our guitar that we have all our artists for season one going to sign cool. and it's very easy all you got to do is grab yourself a mug take a photo send it in and the best photo wins okay <laughs> pretty easy hey awesome you there's some good names it. on there too there is some great names on there we've had some wonderful people coming in our uh, first 13 weeks is pretty much booked and people ready to come on for the second lot so there we go. Like, thanks mate ruakas everybody <laughs> Yay. all right excellent all right so gig wise for you thanks babe yeah, the, the funny thing is, well, you know, when I put out the call about our situation yeah. on our property, is that a lot of people came on board and said, uh, "Could you actually come and play at our, oh, good, at our drought appeal or our fundraisers yeah. for buy bar or whoever it's for?" Yeah. So even though I kind of feel like you're asking the you're asking the right guy, but it's the wrong guy because I can't really <laughs> afford to to go. Can I'll you pay me while I get there? I'll <laughs> flog a few CDs. But look, no, it is a way I can help. Yeah. Uh, it, it is one thing I can do to help is, is to offer my, mm. my uh, services or whatever you want to call but it. But you can uh, talk about it too from a real look, person's perspective who's yeah. going through it. So maybe that might, that little yep. bit of extra emotion, they might kind of connect a bit. Yeah, look, I had a community from, uh, let's see if I can get this right, I think it's called Mullamain, down in southwest New South Wales. Yeah. You know, and I understand the situation that they would be in. And I think that maybe one of the reasons they'd ask me is because they know that I'll understand the situation they're yeah, in. You yeah. know, it's not just, you know, it's not just someone coming in and, mm -hmm. and coming before and I'm going to come there and actually, you know, 
feel their pain and, and, yeah. and uh, know exactly where they're coming from and, and uh, you know, I can perform for them and, yeah. uh, and hopefully make them feel great. It's funny, a lot of these, a lot of these fundraisers uh, are happening in areas that, you know, they're still kind of supporting themselves, you know. Mm, mm. It's, it's, so hopefully it's more of a, a night off for these people rather than, than a yes. fundraiser. It's just yeah. a night off, people get together. Yeah, and, and, think about and something else for a change. Yeah. Yeah. What about time. the government money? Is that starting to trickle through yet, or are you nope, going to be a nothing. while before you see? We, uh, I don't know a single person. Really? No one who's got uh, these millions of dollars are supposed to be available for for us all. Yeah. No one that I know has been able to receive any of it, mm. and you know you've got, to, you've got to fit into this tiny little box. Mm. You know, you, mm. there's so many. It, it, it's all mostly loans, is what they're offering. Okay. Yeah, let's give let's give a farmer who's on, you know, on their knees now. Yeah. Let's let's put them into more debt. That's yeah. a good idea, and that's have them pay it back idea. within two years. That, that's a, That's an awesome idea. What else can we do to help? Go to our local <laughs> member and sort of say, hey, you know, I mean, I know we can buy CDs and things. How else do we get? How else can we help? I don't know. Literally, just, just I mean, come honestly, and give you some cash. Yeah, because uh, I mean, it, really, it's uh it's it's not just about the bales of hay, yeah. <laughs> you know. The bales of hay help feed the stock that that people yeah. have still got. Um, we're still trying to feed. Uh, some people have sold everything, mm. so giving them a bale of hay is not going to do them yeah. anything. But they've lost their income for the next few years. Yes. But they still have to pay their bills. Yeah. You know. And they've got to put food on their table every food night. Food on the table, um, and you know their kids are probably playing sport. And, yeah. You know, you don't want to really tell your kids. You don't want to have a problem with that. Mm. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of the simple stuff. It's going to be. I don't know. I don't know how they treat it individually, or how people can individually help mm. people. Mm. But it's not just about the bales of hay. It is about paying for fuel. So mm. whether it's giving people fuel cards or yeah, you know that that Little kind thing. of stuff. Yeah, I know there's care packages being sent out. Okay. Initially, I was one of the one of the people who were going like, we don't need shampoo and baked beans. You know, yes, that's not going to help us. Yes. But there is people donating that stuff, yeah. and actually, we we had a lady show up on our doorstep yeah. uh, about four weeks back, with, and she got out of the car with these boxes of stuff. I'm like, hey, what's going on here? That's lovely. And, uh, but you know, we all feel like we don't deserve it. Yes. You know, even we had a rapid relief team in Golden had hundreds of bales they were giving out to primary producers. Mm. Uh, who had registered, mm. and, and uh, we went in there and got a couple of bales of hay. And even sitting in that lineup, I'm thinking, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I shouldn't be here, you know. I don't, I don't deserve it. And every farmer feels the same way. Yeah. So. Because they're so used to working hard for what they get, they're not it, used to just saying. Yeah, it's, it's always you know, a bit of a battle, really, help. to be honest. Yeah. So, uh, if a farmer asks for help, as, as some of them are now, you know it's too late. Mm. You know, mm. once I've asked for help, like mm. I said, said earlier, you know, the media and everything came on board. Fantastic. Yeah. Fin- finally happened. Yeah. Uh, but the media spotlight is coming off it now. Mm. And people have started to say, well, I've donated to this. I've been mm. to that concert. I've bought mm. this. What more can I do? But mm. but the reality is this drought is, is going to continue for a long, long time. Mm. And even if it rained, if I could wave a magic wand. Yes. And I had a foot of grass tomorrow and all yes. my dams were full and everything's wonderful. It would make no difference because I still don't have the cattle. And I've still got to, at some point, try and buy back in or yeah. try and breed back in. And that's going to take three, four, five years to get a beginning. And mm. ten, probably 10 years. And that's a long time. It's people. a long ten, time. Ten, people for, ten years yeah. before I can say, that, that herd of cattle right there, yeah. we bred all those here. Yeah. Which is where we were six months ago. Yeah. No, so, well, I hope that we've opened some people's eyes today just to see what it's really like on your side yeah. of the fence. Well, just imagine yeah. if someone said, you're not going to make any money now yeah. for the next three, four Five, we don't know how many years. Yeah. Imagine if someone just took yeah. that, took that away from yeah. you, and and it wasn't going anywhere. And, mm. and uh, so just keep in mind, yeah, when when the spotlight has come off it, and uh, yeah. it is coming off it now, just remember that, yeah. I, I mean, rural Australia makes up most of mm. the continent of Australia, exactly. even though we're not yeah. the, the population. But yeah. just remember, that all those people are out there still dealing with this long yeah. after the media has forgotten yeah. about us. And for yourself, we can help out by grabbing albums. Grab dot yeah. And the info one was yep. www.thefeedstore.info. The feed so, oh. yep, do that. I mean, for me, I've got to, got to be out there playing music too. Yes. So, you yep. know, if you know of a festival coming up and saying, hey, Great you know, idea. they're looking for artists and, yeah. and you hear about it, say, so, well, yeah. hey. Yeah. 
house parties, oh. you'll do anything. But as long as you keep your clothes on, you'll do it, right? <laughs> I understand. I know. Hey, there is a line tours. in the sand. Come on my tours. I'll yeah, show you around the, the States. And just have an amazing time. I guarantee it. Yeah. Good on you, mate. Well, thank you for stopping by. It's been a pleasure Thanks, having you here. Nice to see Sue and the kids too. And yeah, yeah. I can't believe how tall Kate's got. <laughs> I know. I only saw her in Tamworth at the beginning of the year and I went, oh my gosh. Yeah, and Will's catching Beautiful. up quick. So. I know. Don't know Will as well, but I'm looking forward to getting to know him a bit better. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah. All right. What All right. song are we going out on? Your video clip for? Hmm, what should we go for? Hmm. Well, we've got, uh, we've got the from. choice of This Year Cowboy or uh, song. or Out on the Farm. Maybe Out on the Farm is out appropriate on the farm? right now. I like that one. Because that's kind of, yeah. you know, that's that's kind of a song about when things are just kind of ticking along on yeah. everyday sort of life. The happier times. On the times. farm. The happier times. The happier where, times. Yeah. Like dropping in for a cuppa and yes. chin wagon. Yes, and maybe, a six-pack of beer. Six-pack of beer, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Rue Arkers. Okay, thanks, Jane. Please thanks, everybody. support Rue by buying his CDs. And look, if you can spare any change, you figure out how you do it. Go to your local member, the bank. I don't know how how you give, but maybe you get on your knees. Maybe that's the way that you can get and you can, you can yeah. pray for these guys because every prayer helps, let me tell you. Thank you again for joining us. And remember to like the show, share it, and don't forget to subscribe as well. See you, Rue. See you, Jane. Bye. Thanks, guys. You see them little tags going round and round on their motorbikes, tearing up the ground, having them some fun, the way we used to do. And all of us folk sitting on the porch, drinking cold beer. Making small talk, soaking up the sun in the afternoon. Just the way things are way out here. Friends drop by with a six pack of beer. The kettle's always on, and if you just want to chew my ear, yeah, and watch the kids run wild like we did as a child. shake of a hand man lives by the laws of the land and his words as strong as the skies are blue children splash in a water hole fishing for trout is good for the soul and right or wrong work the whole day through just the way things are With a six pack of beer, the candle's always on, and if you just want to chew my.